and girls. My name is Mrs. Taylor. I really like it when it snows outside. Do you? One of my family's favorite things to do when we go outside is to have a snowball fight together. Would you like to have a snowball fight with me today? Well, great. Let's go. You did such a great job last week subtracting four digit numbers that we're going to take it to yet another challenging level. Are you ready to work hard? Great. So today we're going to subtract across zeros. It's a little different, but with a little practice, you're going to be great. And we're going to add the added fun of having a snowball fight while we do that. It's going to help us regroup. Today's math problem that I'm going to show you how to do is 8,005 minus 1,679. So, do you remember what the first thing we're going to do is? That's right, we're going to make sure that we have the largest number on the top. In this case, we circled 8,005. That is the largest number. It is greater than 1,679, so it belongs on top. Good job, boys and girls. We've done our first step. For our next step, we're going to check on the ones place, just like we did before. we are notice that the nine is on the bottom, which is on the floor. So say the rhyme with me. If there's more on the floor, go next door and get some more. But, oh no, we have a zero in the tens place. So we can't get anything from the tens place. We can't even get anything from the hundreds place in this problem. So in this example, we have to go all the way to the thousands place to find some more. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to cross out the eight and take away 1,000. What is that going to leave us with? Well, let's throw a snowball and find out. We started off with eight thousands. Now that we took 1,000 away, we are left with 7,000. Now we're going to bring one of those thousands and break it apart. Let's do that now. Here's a picture of what it looks like using place value blocks. We started off with 8,000 blocks. When we went next door to get some more, we X'd out one of the thousands blocks. Now we're left with seven thousands blocks. And that's why we have a seven in the snowball above the eight. Now that thousands block is made out of ten hundreds. And I'm going to put that in the hundreds place. I changed my zero to ten. But now when I go back to the ones again, I still have a five. I cannot get nine from that. And I still can't get it from the tens place. But now I can go to the hundreds place because I have 10 hundreds. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to cross out the 10. And now, what does that make it? If you have 10 and you take one away, what do you have now? Let's throw a snowball and find out. Now I have nine in the hundreds place. So what am I going to do next? Here's what it looks like using place value blocks. I started off with 10 hundreds and I crossed one out and that's how I ended up with nine in the hundreds place. That's why I put a nine in the snowball of 10. Now I took one of my hundreds and I'm going to break it up into tiny pieces. My hundreds block has now become 10 tens. So how many tens do I have now? Let's throw a snowball and find out. So I broke apart that 100s block into 10 tens. So now I ha have changed it from zero to 10. But wait, 
I still can't subtract 5 minus 9. So now I have to look at my tens place. Hooray! There's some in there now. I have 10 tens. And if I take one of those tens away, how many do I have left? Let's throw a snowball and find out. I am now left with nine tens. And now we're gonna break apart that 10 and make it into how many ones? Let's try it and see. Now that I broke it apart, I now have 10 plus five ones. So how many ones is 10 plus five? That's right. We now have 15 ones. Here's a picture of what it looks like using place value blocks. We started off with five ones and then we added 10 ones when we regrouped. Five plus 10 equals 15, which is what you see in the snowball in the ones place. And now that I have 15 ones, I can subtract 15 minus nine. What does that equal? That's right, 15 minus nine equals six. And now I can subtract the tens place too. I have nine minus seven. What does that equal? That's right, that equals two. So I'm going to put that in the tens place. Now let's go subtract our hundreds place. We have nine, minus six. So what does that equal? That's right, that equals three. And finally, we can also now subtract the thousands place. So we have seven minus one. What does that equal? That equals six. Very good job, boys and girls. So when we found the difference to 8,005 and 1,679, we got 6,326. Now that took a lot of work, didn't it? But you must admit, it was fun throwing those snowballs to help us regroup. Now it's your turn to try one on your own. Subtract 6,007 minus 2,568. Pause the video and show your work on a piece of paper or a dry erase board. When you're done, check your answer. If you get the answer right, I'll have my son throw snowballs at me. Here's your answer. The difference between 6,007 and 2,568 is 3,439. What? You got it right? Oh no! So, the next time you're out when it snows, make sure to watch out for flying snowballs. Oh! <laughs> Whew, glad that's over. Subtracting across zeros wasn't so hard, was it? It was snow much fun! Thanks so much to each and every one of you who have already subscribed to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel quite yet, make sure that you click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single adventure. If you liked today's video, click the like button and I'll make more math videos just like this one. I hope everybody has a great week. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you again for our next adventure really soon. Goodbye.